Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the uh, grills off the BMW and um, also plastic different any color you guys want. So uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the things you need and um, let's just get right into it. Alright, so this is what you guys are going to be needing today to uh, plastic do up your grills. So um, first you got to take out the grills, so we're going to need a flathead and a T30 and uh, pretty much anything that's star shaped, you'll notice that for mine, the 2006, I'm going to be needing this for the hood, and this is for the front bumper ones. Uh, you got to remove all those. Um, if you just have like an 09, or yeah, pretty sure it's an 09 or higher, or it's going to be an 07 or higher, uh, or newer uh, coupe, then you're just going to be needing the T30. So, T30 is the main one. Um, and then you're going to be needing some plastic dip, the color of your choosing. Obviously, most people go with black. Black's pretty nice. Uh, any book, or uh, you know, cardboard that you can spray paint on, that would work as well. He's back. So yeah, we're going to be taking out these two screws, that screw, and that screw, and then we're also going to be taking off all these screws up top for the silver trim up here. So if you have an 06 or an 07 or 08 sedan, you're going to have these silver trims up there uh, over these, so we're going to have to replace all of them. And then pretty much just do the same for all the rest of these. I'm going to set down the camera so it'll be a lot easier. So yeah, I just removed these two. Just got to continue and remove all four. So uh, once you remove all four screws, the bumper should be easier to lift. And once you can uh, lift it, you can see on the bottom there's a few tabs. You just got to pop those down with the flathead and you should be able to pull out these grills. So um, I got this out finally, so I'm going to show you guys how I did it. I'll take it to the back of the car. In order to do this, you don't want to like just grab on this and just bring it up and then pull on the grill. What you have to do is, there's this little tab, you have to push in the tab. Push in the tab and put your other hand in there and push in both tabs while I kind of push out the grill. So it's kind of, you will need both hands to push in both tabs and you will pop up one side. And once you get that, keep that out. Do your hands on both of these, just click that to this tab and that pop out. You just pull it out a little more to make sure it doesn't go back in. And then you do this one and this one right here. And then you, the girl should just, you just force it out. You will get, need a little bit of pressure, but you're going to force this out. Right now I'm currently having an issue with this. This one I got it out, no problem. But if I come around my car, this bolt for some reason is already like, you can tell it'll crack it. It looks like somebody tied it up really strong. And when I tried doing it, I kind of already, how do you say it, like thread the bolt so it won't come out. I might have to actually paint this on the car. I don't know how that's going to work. Or maybe I just try to figure out another way to get that out. But yeah, these are super easy. Just take out the bolts. That just comes off. So as you can tell, that came off. I'm probably going to clean that up before I put on the new grill. And I'm going to do the same to this one. So yeah, you will need both hands. One for the top clip, one for the bottom clip. All right. All right, my hands are super dirty now. From behind, um, but that's alright. I got both drills out um, now. I just got to clean these up. Make sure you wash them thoroughly, clean them up, and I'll show you guys how clean mine is after I'm finished. And once you clean these, then you can start uh, dipping it basically, start spraying it down. All right, so I couldn't get this off, it's gonna be really hard. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some tape around it and just spray it on the car. Just hope that works. So I just finished washing. In. I'm just keeping them out here to keep them dry. Give it another five minutes and then I'm gonna bring it on in and start spray painting it. So I just gotta prep that for spray painting. I did get a, another box on the bottom. I you can probably guess what kind of box I use by the looks of it. If you guys can guess what it is, tell me in the comments. And then I also um, basically put a lot of paper on it, the, the SAT book that I had. 
Um, you could post newspapers, whatever. Um, just something in the bottom, make sure you know spray paint doesn't ruin it, the ground. And um, yeah, so first I'm gonna start off with uh, five light coats. I need three coats, one light coat, 15 minutes in between. guys so um i'm doing the other ones then another like six minutes on the other ones and then i do the third coat uh right now i'm i just finished doing the front of the car so i can do this one all this for just one piece but yeah what are you gonna do you know when a screw is messed up unless you have the equipment to fix it you know you're gonna have to deal with that so i put some papers underneath and i did all around the car you may think i did a little too much but it's better to be safe than sorry than to ruin your own paint on your car uh, it is plastic dip so it is fixable but um you know why you know, why go through the hassle of cleaning up? So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. 